Hey everybody, what's up? Gary Simon here. So today I'm going to take a look at what is being called the 2020 Design Tools Survey. All right, so this has a table of contents and this is a survey put across, uh, given to 4,100 different UX designers, product designers, web designers, graphic designers. And we're going to go through each of these uh, 11 different categories. And I want you, before we begin, don't fast forward, let me know which tool you think was pretty much the most popular tool. I would say across about seven to eight of these categories of the 11 that exist, this tool won number one. Let me know in the comments which tool you think that was, and we'll see if you're correct or not. So as always, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Before we begin, getting a job in design is more competitive than ever, which is why you need to focus on skills that help you stand out. In a recent study by Design Week, 70% of respondents said that their company is investing more in interactive prototyping. So Framer is here to help you level up. Getting started is easy. Import from your favorite design tool and start swapping static elements for interactive components. Set up transitions with just a few clicks and create impressive animations right on the canvas, all 100% code free. The result is presentation dynamite, prototypes that show clients, teammates, and even your boss that you're a cut above the rest. So sign up for free or get 20% off any paid plan by visiting framer.com forward slash design course. It is the first link in the description here on YouTube. All right, let's go ahead and check out these tools. So first they have a table of contents here and demographics, you know, about who participated in such survey. Um, 4,100 responses, not a massive amount, but still a decent amount to get a general idea. Um, and uh, what best describes your role, UX designer, product designer, web designer. I don't think many people use the term web designer anymore anyhow. Um, web apps, websites, mobile apps. Um, how many years of experience do you have? Three to five seems to be, you know, right around where most people were. Um, how many employees? 11 to 100. So these are people who aren't, most people of which aren't freelancers. Um, how many designers are there at your place? Two to 10. Mac, definitely a lot of, a lot more Mac uh, designers, which is, opposite of myself who is on windows um brainstorming all right so we're going to skip this oh no this is the first actual category so brainstorming this is obviously the stage uh a ux stage the very first part uh usually that uh people will involve themselves with They're, you're not designing anything you're not designing high fidelity prototypes or, or mock-ups or anything like that um and we can see uh, down here, which software do you use for brainstorming and ideation? Uh, so Miro, this is used quite a bit. Figma, you're going to see Figma all the time in almost just about every category, winning it out. Uh, but Miro right here is an uh, online visual collaboration platform for teamwork. All right, so I uh, this is sort of like a, a Slack or whatever. Although it seems like many uh, UX design teams are using this. Um, and so outside of that, we have Figma, Sketch, um, all the way down here, Mila Note or Mila Note. They were a sponsor for me for a while, so I've done videos on them. Uh, so you have your, your general purpose tools, which aren't really suited for this sort of thing, uh, like Figma, Sketch, and XD. Uh, but people still use it because you can. Um, but as you can see up here, this this Miro, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Um, you know, this is specific to that task, so it is uh, one of the few categories where a tool suited to that purpose is actually winning out. User flows. So I, I've done several videos on creating user flows here in the past. Um, we can see down here Figma. Figma you can design user flows in, but it's not really tailored towards creating user flow diagrams. Um, same thing with uh, Sketch, same thing with Adobe XD, but there are, you know, for Figma and XD and Sketch, there are templates that you can use for cr quickly creating user flows. Um, I've created uh, a video, I believe recently on overflow.io. Um, and then also we see Whimsical here, uh, this is another one that's for specifically creating 
user flows and flow charts, wireframes and mind maps and, you know, really UX stuff, uh, UX specific tool. Next up, UI design. I, this one pretty much guessed it, uh, Figma being number one. Now, Sketch, I, I've never personally used Sketch because it's a Mac exclusive program. Um, I, so I don't know what they've been doing. I know that once Figma and XD came out, a lot of people transitioned from Sketch to those tools. Uh, I did a quick search and it looks like Sketch actually does have prototyping of some sort, um, but I don't know how they stack up against Figma and XD. Um, outside of that, really, it's just these three main uh, that are being used. Photoshop, Photoshop over here. I'm not sure why they list this one. It's like slightly more people are using it. Um, but, oh, okay, use it as secondary secondary tool. Um, but Photoshop, if you were to take this survey all the way back in like 2009 or, or 2010, 2011 and prior to that, you would see XD would be up here, which would be almost like, everything it would be like 95 percent uh, but of course the industry has matured since then um so next up we have prototyping all right so in case you know if you're new to this what is the difference between ui design and, and prototyping uh ui designs usually just re is just referenced as being you know the the visuals and the aesthetics of everything your your typography your fonts your colors etc uh, then prototyping is kind of tying it all together making it interactive um, so coming down here, Figma, massive winner for prototyping. Now for me, I didn't think the, the discrepancy between Figma and XD would be so significant. Of course, Adobe XD is usually within the top three of most of the, or top four of most of these categories. But I think the, uh, the allure to Figma is the fact that it's web-based. You don't have to download anything and it's free. Um, and Adobe XD, you know, people don't like the idea. I believe XD still offers a, 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 a like a free version. I'm not sure, but I know they did before. Um, but also people don't like the whole subscription cloud-based thing um, that XD or Adobe rather had implemented years back. Um, so that might have hurt them as well. But I, I personally love XD. I like the feel of the actual native application as opposed to working in a browser. But nonetheless, uh, we can see Figma number one here. Envision, uh, Envision Studio, next up, XD, Sketch, Principal, Protopy. A lot of these I've done videos on already. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I uh, I think that would be kind of, that'd be a, a slow way to do it if you're just dealing in code. Uh, but nonetheless, let's continue on. Oh, and by the way, I thought this was interesting, prototyping throughout the years. Um, so if we look at here, Envision was actually really high in 2017. Um, and inversely, we have Figma being pretty low, uh, and actually XD uh, was beating out Figma at that point in time, but uh, Figma's just really exploded up here like crazy. Um, next up, handoff, all right? So you design your, your, your UI design or your prototype, and now, you know, are you gonna be able to, how, you're, how are you choosing to hand it off to other stakeholders, as it's called, like your, uh, the actual developers. Um, so here we have Figma once again winning off. Uh, Zeppelin, Envision Studio, Adobe XD, Abstract. Some of these I haven't heard of. Uh, most of them I have, but I haven't really done videos on them. Um, but, you know, really no surprise here with how these are lining up. Design systems. All right. So Figma again. Not really tailored for specific, for specifically creating design systems. I, uh, but as we can see, these top three are up here. Storybook would be one of those I uh, type types of. Uh, let me see. Am I? Up? Oh, I, I thought I had the the actual website up, but Storybook um, is a little bit more tailored for that sort of thing. Uh, zero height. I've never heard of zero height. So I want to check that out. Document your design systems together. So this is the best example of something that would be specific for curating, maintaining, creating your design system. So I, I actually probably should do a video on this and see how well it's structured. Um, next up, user testing. So I uh, usability testing, very uh, important. Um, as this person, whoever constructed this mentioned, I uh, 
even before COVID-19 teams had found ways to collaborate, organize and share design files, but how do people react uh, when they can no longer be within six feet of each other? Um, so this is interesting. I thought Maze, you know, they highly rated user testing tools. Uh, so these are specific to user testing. Um, but when you come down here, Zoom, Zoom for user testing, which makes sense because it's video conferencing. You can do it anywhere. Um, obviously a reliable and stable environment. Maze, this is a specific tool I, I've done videos on. So uh, this, they, they actually, it's actually really cool uh, the way I have it. If I recall correctly, you can import Figma XD prototypes and create kind of like a, a user testing flow. And then you can sh give the, the, the testing with all these questions uh, to see how easy it is to interact with your prototype. Um, and then that way you can kind of rate the effect effectiveness and, and make changes based on um, the results. So it's very cool. Um, so no uh, surprise there that it's, you know, right here at number two. Usability Hub, look back. I haven't heard of a couple of these. Um, Google Meet. Versioning. So Figma, you know, I, I believe XD has its own versioning as well. Uh, Google Drive, <laughs> very simple. Uh, Abstract, GitHub, Dropbox, et cetera. And at the end, we have the 2020 Designers Toolkit. So this is basically outlining the winners of all of those categories. So brainstorming, Miro or Miro works, one. Um, user flows, Figma, UI design, Figma, Prototyping, Figma, Handoff, Figma, Design System, Figma, Versioning, Figma. So clear, massive uh, props to the Figma team for really just completely dominating here in 2019, or 2020 rather, uh, with, with all these different categories. Um, so you really can't go wrong with Figma. You can't go wrong with a lot of these tools though. Um, Adobe XD, you can do many of the same things and even more so that you can in, in Figma and vice versa. It just depends on what you're interested in the most. Uh, so most exciting tools of 2021. Look at that. Uh, this one was kind of interesting, Framer. Uh, I didn't really see Framer mentioned in many of these. Uh, highly rated interface design tools, Framer's there. And then Framer is also mentioned in highly rated UI prototyping tools. Of course, Framer is a uh, active sponsor of mine. Uh, but coming down back to where we were, right here. Uh, yeah, so Framer is very, you know, people are quite excited about Framer. Uh, Sketch. Again, I'm not, I have no clue what Sketch is doing. Maybe they're really trying to, maybe they've caught up to what Adobe XD and Figma have been doing. Um, although it could be because there's still a lag of people who, you know, a ton of people use Sketch after a lot of people transitioned from Photoshop to Sketch years back. Um, so that could be this. If you, if you know perhaps more and you're familiar with Sketch, let me know in the comments, you know, if they've really been making good improvements uh, to really, get on par with Figma in um, Adobe XD. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that. I know I did. There's a few tools that I definitely want to create videos and do reviews of in the future that I haven't even known about before checking this out, really. So as always, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.